Snake. Peace Walker is the heart of the enemy's project. To prevent its completion, you'll need to either shut down or destroy the artificial intelligence that functions as its brain. According to Huey, that AI is now undergoing final calibrations in Strangelove's lab. It's inside a tropical cloud forest. Slip in and terminate that AI before they ship it out. We've also confirmed that some of the enemies specialize in ambushes. Amanda's crew calls them scouts. They'll blend themselves in with the terrain and the vegetation. Then, when they see you, they'll swoop in. They fight pretty much like commandos, and will use clearing techniques to flush you out. In addition to wielding normal weapons, the scouts also carry wires. Uh, sounds like these guys know their CQC. Could be. We've been getting reports of CQC attacks being blocked by wires. Stay alert. This area is a tropical cloud forest, continually covered in a thick mist. It is quite a mystical place. Selba de la Leche. Forest of milk. I can barely see in front of me. There you go again. The forest is basically sitting in a cloud, so of course it's going to be hard to see. But you know, the cloud forest is the only place many exotic creatures can live. Well, if they're not edible, I'm not interested. Snake, I'll have you know people travel from all around the world to witness Costa Rica's unique fauna. Snake, watch out for the frogs. Why? They bite? Relax. No frogs ever eaten a snake. Although, I've feasted on a few frogs' legs myself. But they are dangerous. They are poisonous. Poisonous? Poison dart frogs live up to their name, I assure you. Their poison is so strong, the Indigena use them to make poison-tipped arrows. Some secrete poison through their skin. Even touching them can be dangerous. So don't go petting them or anything. Yeah, uh, so... I can't eat one. I am warning you. From here on in, you'll be in a cloud forest. The ground is covered in vegetation. You'll have plenty of hiding places, but so will the enemy. I'll keep an eye out for scouts. Trying to force your way through would be suicide. Know the enemy's location before making any moves. Too bad you don't have some sort of radar. Hmm. I could try night vision. Once you know where an enemy is, decide how you want to handle him. You could get into his blind spots. Or drop him from a distance before he even has a clue someone's around. An eye for an eye, right? Chico, you know much about cloud forests? Mm, not that much. All I know is there's a world of difference between a rainy rainforest and a foggy cloud forest. But they have some things in common. But like for instance, you gotta watch out for poison dart frogs. Both rain and cloud forests have high humidity, so they're perfect environments for frogs and other amphibians. I mean, it's not like just touching a strawberry poison dart frog or a dying dart frog is going to kill you. But don't eat them no matter how hungry you get. I can get all the rations I need from Mother Base. No jungle food for me this time. Seriously? You're not disappointed you don't get to eat wild animals? <laughs> what do you think I am? <laughs> Just kidding. In Colombia, though, there's a frog, the golden dart frog, that's lethal to the touch. How do you know all this? Come on. Don't you think poisonous animals are cool? Not if you get poisoned by one. Well, obviously. One more thing. When you get to the forest, be on the lookout for Bigfoot. I... I... think I'll be okay there. <laughs> Bigfoot is an ape man that lives in the Rocky Mountains. In the local Indian language, he's known as Sasquatch. And get this, he's over three bara. Can you believe that? So, he's kinda like a gorilla? Completely different. Even the biggest gorillas only get to about two vara, and they walk on their knuckles. Bigfoot's big, and he walks on two feet, like people. So, he's more man than ape? Probably. His ancestors must have split off from humans at some point. Like, before they started using tools and stuff. Yeah, but... 
Aren't the Rockies kind of far away from here? Eh, not that far. According to Darwin, humans came all the way over here from Africa. Plus, there have been sightings in Venezuela of an ape man called Mono Grande. Costa Rica has tons of plant and animal species. So I'd expect there to be at least one kind of ape man. At least? Gotta admit, I've never heard of Mono Grande. Yeah, he's not as famous as Bigfoot. He's similar, but he lives in Venezuela. He's not that big, less than two vara. But he's way more ferocious than Bigfoot. Huh. I wonder just how mean he is. Like, like when he catches his prey, does he punch it to death? That's the law of the wild. You catch your prey, you kill it, and you eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But punching is way more ferocious than biting. Well, maybe it seems that way, because that's what humans do. You really love UMAs, don't you, Chico? Do you know what I think? I think UMAs should be dangerous. Otherwise, where's the fun in hunting them? The aim of the Peace Walker Project is to achieve robust nuclear deterrence across Central America by deploying a new nuclear weapon system along the Caribbean coast. Peace Walker is also the name of the system itself. <sighs> a nuclear weapon named Peace. I can just see the look on Kaz's face. So why exactly does this new system need legs in the first place? Because it's a walker. An unmanned weapon moving under its own power and capable of launching a deterrent strike from anywhere. That's the whole idea behind Peace Walker. What made you put an AI into Peace Walker? Well, for one thing, because it can't be manned. Peace Walker's designed to enter enemy territory and blow itself up, if necessary. You can't put a person inside a weapon that could blow at any time, can you? So we equipped it with an AI instead. That's... strangely humane of you. And besides, Peace Walker was designed as a bipedal weapon system. You can't imagine how hard it shakes when it walks. It'd turn a man into mush. Plus, when launching a nuclear missile, it has to perform ballistic calculations in real time. See? Because it's always moving. Hold on. If that's all it does, then a high-performance computer ought to do the job. It doesn't need intelligence. That's a very good point, Snake. Which brings me to the real reason. Peace Walker needs AI to make decisions regarding nuclear retaliation. It's what ensures perfectly mutual assured destruction. I've heard all this before. You want a war between machines? We never actually launched the first nuke, of course. It's strictly a counterattack system. Only a politician could make such an illogical decision as starting a nuclear war. Conversely, if an adversary launches a nuke at us, the AI will not fail to retaliate. Therefore, the adversary can't launch. The AI guarantees it. Even so, launching nukes without authorization? Boomer captains have the authority to launch if land communications are cut off. It's the same principle. Not even the captain of a boomer can make that decision alone. The way I heard it, that's the only situation where insubordination is allowed. Only because humans are imperfect. That's Coldman's line of thinking. You're saying that machines don't make mistakes? That's a myth. Worse than that, it's blind faith. We wouldn't put our faith, our fate, into the hands of any ordinary machine. That's what the AI is for. The decision to launch a retaliatory strike requires high-level judgment. You have to take into account not only the state of the war, but the entire world. And sometimes, you need to make a guess based on incomplete information. Huh. You think an AI can do all that? Yeah. At least, Dr. Strangelove does. Snake, how's the mule treating you? Uh, at this pace, I should be there by tomorrow morning. You've got to hurry. The AI could be completed any time now. It'd be nice to have a guide. Already on it. I've enlisted Pass to help you. She knows the jungle pretty well. Snake, 
I know you are an expert in survival, but you need to stay alert. You are in an ancient jungle so foggy, you can hardly see the trees. It is home to 2,500 species of plants, including 400 types of orchids. There are also 500 species of butterflies and over 400 species of wild birds. The bedrock is solid enough that Mayan ruins have miraculously survived centuries of earthquakes. Uh, an AI lab in a Mayan ruin. Who'd have thought, hey, Huey? My sentiments exactly. That doesn't mean security's any less tight, though. You still have the ID card I gave you, don't you? Mm, got it right here. That'll get you through the gate, no problem. After that, you're on your own. As long as the AI remains unassembled, Coldman's plan's on ice. <laughs> what about security inside the lab? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. Strangelove demanded that the security presence inside the lab be kept to a minimum. It's not all good news, Snake. Coldman knows we're here. He's raised security in the area surrounding the lab. You'll be seeing a lot of that chrysalis UAV, and a bunch of patrol choppers, too. There may be scouts in the jungle lying in ambush. As you approach the lab, be extra vigilant. I'll be careful. lab is a few miles to the north. It won't be long before the AI is complete. Don't let that happen. Careful. If there's enemy scouts around here, they'll be nearly impossible to see. search may not spot enemies that are actively hidden. Somebody here? Nothing here. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter.
somebody there. I got a report in from the R&D team. They finished plans for a new Hex-type plant, and today they're gonna start construction on the first block. Can't wait to finally say goodbye to this scrap heap. Only thing is, we don't have nearly enough GMP. We'll need to recruit more soldiers to get more GMP. You know what to do, Snake. <laughs> 